Do you feel like the lines between work and personal life get blurry sometimes, that you're multitasking all the time, that there's too much going on in your head? Well, I want you to stay tuned because in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my three work-life hacks so that you can take care of yourself and feel more empowered every day. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release a new video every Monday and Thursday. First things first, and I want to clear this up. I do not believe in work-life balance. I don't think it's a thing. I think work-life balance is this myth that exists out there. And what can end up happening is that when we look at this myth, this big idea that we can have some form of work-life balance, we are immediately setting ourselves up to fail because work-life balance isn't actually achievable. At any given time, your work life will demand more or your personal life will demand more. It's never going to be 50-50, so we should just give that up. Okay, so let's get into the hacks. Now, as somebody who works and as somebody who has a little one at home, I know that the balance between personal life and work life can sometimes get blurry. And these hacks are designed to help you out. Tip number one be intentional with your time. Now, this can look a variety of different ways depending on the type of person you are. Maybe you are somebody who likes to do the calendar blocking. Maybe you like to create to-do lists. Whatever your methodology, I want you to be intentional with how you use it. So if you are somebody who likes to block time on your calendar for work, I also want you to block time for your personal life. When we do this, we are creating signals to ourselves that I need to have singular focus in any one particular area. I don't want you making your kids doctor's appointments or your doctor's appointments for that matter at work. I want you to schedule that time in for yourself where you actually create a little 15 minute chunk to book the appointment. If you create to-do lists, create two separate to-do lists, one for your personal life, one for your work life. Whatever way you manage your time or you manage the tasks that you have to do, keep those spaces separate because it creates some healthy boundaries around work life and personal life. Tip number two, as much as possible, don't bring work home with you. Now, I'm not saying that work doesn't impact your day, it doesn't impact your physical, emotional, and energetic well-being, but as much as possible, leave the energy of work at work. Now, if you work out of your home, what I'm going to recommend is that you have a specific place in your home that you do your work so that your work's not everywhere in the house. And I've been guilty of that, so I totally know that it happens. But what I discovered and what my clients have done is when we put work in a specific area of the house and we know that that's where that happens, the rest of the house is free from that energy and we aren't bringing work into all of the other areas of our homes. Same thing if you go out of the house to work when you come back, leave work at work. So when you walk in the door, you might do certain things. You might put your shoulder bag down in a specific area. If you have a cell phone for work, you leave it at the front door. You're not bringing it into the space with you. All of this is to create almost a healthy boundary. Once again, a line between, okay, that's work life. This is home life. And now I can step into being at home as opposed to bringing work with me into the house. Do you have a favorite work-life hack? If you do, be sure to put it in the comments below. Tip number three, don't distract at work with your personal life and don't distract in your personal life with your work. In other words, give yourself permission to be fully present in each of those spaces. If you are working on something in the workplace or if you work at home and you're working on it there, be intentional about your energy and your presence. We don't want to be distracted because when we're distracted, things take longer, things can fall by the wayside or slip through the cracks. We want to give whatever it is we're working on our full attention. Same thing in your personal life. When you're with people or when you're doing things in your personal life, don't allow work to be a distraction. Now, I'm not saying that things don't come up where 
they will pull at us or will remember something or we have to take care of different things. But what I'm saying is as much as possible, give yourself permission to be fully present at work and at home. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos each week. Remember, healthy boundaries keep us healthy. Stay ignited out there. I will see you soon. Bye.